Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is I, Allison Rozelle, also known as Coach Roz, and I am here on day 22. <laughs> I've lost track of my days. Um, I'll just chalk it up to like being tired and <laughs> sinus medication. But I believe I put on there it's day 23. And I'm almost certain that it might be day 22. I don't know. I'm loopy right now. It's day 22. Yes. <laughs> I had to catch myself back up. Whew. Okay. I'm going to take a breath. Because we are talking still in our 40 days of sacred clearing for women over 40, making space for all things new. And again, I'm Allison Rozelle, also known as Coach Roz. You can learn more about me by going to www.coachroz.com. And that is Coach Roz, R-O-Z-Z.com. All right. So I wanted to talk today about the new moon because yay, we are in the new moon energy and it is so wonderful um, for many different reasons, which I'm about to get into. But I will say, I used to not really be into like full moon and new moon um, only because I never really understood it. And growing up in um, in the church, that was something that was just never talked about. And what I'm learning more and more in this walk, hi Tabitha, is that it's all energy and it's all from the creator. The creator created the moon and the cycles of the moon have a lot to do with us. The cycles of us where like as women are menstrual cycles, but also the natural cycles of life you know, that are in sync with Mother Earth and with the moon. We as human beings spend a lot of time fighting with nature. Whereas you look at animals in nature, they don't mind. They automatically sync themselves up with the cycles of the Earth, the cycles of the moon. They follow the seasons of what they have, like mating season, hibernation season, and all that. So I'm not going to go into a long spill about that, but I just wanted to say I am excited about the new moon energy, and I hope that you are too, because we are in the new moon in Scorpio. So shout out to all the Scorpios out there. <laughs> Got some Scorpios in my family. Um... And they are right. they're not like Leos or nothing, but they cool. <laughs> but um, the new moon in Scorpio, the reason why I wanted to go ahead and talk about this as a part of our 40 days, because at the time of this recording, yes, we are in the new moon in Scorpio. Now, if you're listening to this later on and it's um, not the new moon in Scorpio, fear not. It's still the new moon. New moons come in cycles. Full moons come in cycle. So if you want, you can pause it and save it to the next new moon. <laughs> so you'll feel in sync. That's fine. But anyway, I wanted to talk about it because there's some interesting things that I was reading about um, with this new moon that are um, relevant to... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, that are relevant to our clearing, our sacred clearing that we're doing. I'm going to move my light a little bit because it's making me sweat. Okay, so the new moon in Scorpio is basically here to teach us about life and death. You know, I'm not talking about life and death as in we're alive and someone else is dead. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about <clears throat> is what we are bringing to life and what is coming to life and what needs to die 
in our lives. So in this time, that's why I said the three words are revisit, release, receive. So let's talk about revisit. So this is the time for you to revisit any lingering issues that you may have whether you're you've been dealing with your like relationships and when i say relationships this means all relationships whether it is your uh, love life or relationships with family relationships with friends co-workers with an ex with your baby daddy or whoever <laughs> it's time if there are any lingering issues it's time to revisit them um, and that way you can start to move on and release, but I'm not there yet. So it's time for you to revisit any lingering issues that you may have been dealing with as far as your relationships, as far as like maybe your job and career choices, issues with your self-worth, self-worth, <laughs> almost ran those words together, and um, also our personal need for personal freedom. And the reason you want to revisit this is because there are a lot of things, as I said, there are lingering issues there. So if you're having issues that are still lingering, whether it's harboring things that you need to forgive as far as the relationships are concerned, or in your job and career, you're procrastinating on what to do next. You know what you're supposed to do, but you've been procrastinating on it. Um, because there's something that's blocking you and you're deciding that <clears throat> for whatever reason you want to keep holding on to it and it's pretty much a dead issue but it's lingering because you won't let it go um, your issues with self-worth um, a lot of times we have these lingering issues we all deal with it you know we can all as women stand here and say I don't like my hair I don't like my eyes I don't like my skin I don't like my teeth I don't like my nose. I don't like my lips. Oh, I wish my butt was not this big. Oh, I wish my, my butt was bigger. <laughs> oh, I hate having big boobs. Oh, I hate having small boobs. You know, whatever it is. Um, and that's not really self-worth, but it's kind of give you a picture of there are all things about ourselves that we feel are lacking. And then it makes us, it spills into our thoughts of feeling unworthy of things. Oh, I'm not worthy of a relationship because I'm overweight. And who would love me, right? Or I'm not worthy of having an abundant, wealthy life because I've made poor financial decisions in the past. I don't know. Whatever your self-worth issues are that are lingering that you know aren't true because a lot of times those are just things that we keep telling ourselves over and over again because for some reason those things are just easier for us to believe the good stuff isn't but the bad stuff bad stuff is just easier for us to believe don't know why but it is but we'll be talking about stuff like that especially in the starting over podcast yep i said it <laughs> And lastly, our need for personal freedom. We have issues that we may want personal freedom um, or we may want to start doing things that, that are exercises of our personal freedom, but we've been holding back. Like, um, I'll use me as an example. Um, like when I... Um, decided that I'm no longer going to subscribe to being um, in organized religion. That I'm more in spiritual than I am a religious person. And that's my personal choice. But I had some lingering issues about that because it's like, I know that I'm being led to do this different way and have this different way of my own relationship with God versus what I've been taught, the way I grew up, the way maybe my family is and everything else. I want my personal freedom, but there's that holding me back. And now I've learned to let it go because my life is mine. 
So any re any lingering issues that you have, and again, it's not limited to these things like relationships and your job, career choices, you know, issues of self worth or anything like that. It's not limited to that. It could be a, a multitude of things. Bottom line, you got lingering issues, revisit them, figure out what those issues are, and then move on to the next thing. Time to release. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Um, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yes, let it go. Um, so there are things that have to be released so that you can have that fresh start. And we're starting over. So if we're going to start over, we got to let some stuff go. Because if we're going to open the door to our brand new lives that are waiting for us, if we're starting over, if we're saying, yes, here I am, I am a beautiful, bodacious, divine diva over 40, and I am walking into my personal, beautiful, blissful, abundant life, it's time to let some stuff go, though, because you can't go in there if you got all this other baggage that you're carrying around, all those lingering issues that you refuse to let go of, now's the time to do it in this beautiful new moon energy. Because, again, in this cycle, it's time to release. The reason why I will say in this cycle is because new moon in Scorpio, the, the main thing with that Scorpio is a water, is, is water, right? So you have the Scorpio, and if I'm not mistaken, Pisces, um, there's some Pisces energy in there as well. But the main, I guess, thing um, of this new moon is water. So with water, interesting enough, today when I was pulling my card for the day, I pulled this beauty. My mammy or mommy, Wata. Wata. <laughs> and the theme is oneness. And the affirmation is, I am divinely connected to the source of all that is. So... Um, with that being said, <clears throat> excuse me, with this new moon, it's kind of a cleansing, if you will, with the water. So you want to use basically from this. Now I'm looking at, um, Mystic Mama. And basically what it's saying is we have Neptune in Spice, in Spice Lord, Pisces. And it's, it says water is life and water is the place of transition. So that's why in, in this energy, it's a clearing and cleansing energy, if that makes sense. So you're releasing, it's basically you're washing it away symbolically. You're getting the water and you're cleansing and releasing all that lingering stuff all that lingering, everything that you have going on that you need to release, it's time to wash it away. Get in the water. The water is fine. And you want to rinse it off. You want to rinse it off of your body. <laughs> so you are rinsing, you are cleansing, you are clearing this stuff off of you so you can release it and have a fresh start into your life. So that is why it is time to release. So you're releasing, again, by using the symbolic cleansing of water. Okay? So now, receive. Woo! Yes. That's the part I love. Of course, I love to release. I love letting things go because it makes me feel lighter. It makes me feel clear. And I'm, like, more focused when I let certain things and I've let certain people go. It's opened things up for me in a brand new way. And sometimes, yes, I must pause right here. When I was reading that about the water, I remember I had done a post on my old um, blog that I used to use. And I talked about water being used as a way to cleanse and clear. So it makes sense that in this new moon energy, 
that you would want to use water to wash things away because think about it here we are in the fall and we're about to go into the holiday season which usually is like the gateway which not usually but is the gateway to us getting ready to go into a whole new year so yes you want to wash away those lingering things so that something can open up for you brand new so you're clearing those spaces so water is very important you can use water to do like a sacred cleansing um, you can do like a sacred bath if you don't want to do a sacred bath um, you can just use water to just kind of like sprinkle to, to do like a cleansing or anointing um, you can also sprinkle water in different corners of your home as a, a symbol of blessing your home so there are different ways to use water as a means to cleanse and release um, your spaces okay in your body and of course duh when we take showers that's a way to clean but i'm talking about in a sacred sense okay um so lastly we'll talk about receiving now here's something that a lot of us as women have a big problem with we do it's hard for for women to receive even though our bodies were built to receive our bodies are built to receive. And I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I'm going to let you think about that. Women receive. We receive the gift of life when we um, conceive. I couldn't even think of the word I was thinking of. But when we conceive our children, we are receiving that. We are receiving the man into our bodies to conceive or if you go through artificial insemination you're receiving the seed to implant your egg nevertheless you're a woman your body was built to receive that's what we do because when we receive we give because it's the flow of life basically giving and receiving are a natural cycle of life so it is time for us to receive now the problem with us is not being receptive to receiving we can't receive compliments a lot of us can't you know think about how many times someone has given you a compliment and said girl you look good i love the way your hair looks today oh that dress is beautiful you know um oh that co that color you got on your fingernails even though i'm not painted right now um i love those earrings or anything like that immediately Without thinking about it, we shoot it down and be like, girl, I'm having a bad hair day. I just slapped this little headband on and went on about my business. I, I need a retwist. <laughs> and I've done that. And I had to stop myself because I had someone compliment my locks the other day. And as y'all can see, I have a lot, and I'm not lifting this up because, woo, <laughs> I got a lot of new growth, okay? And I have not retwisted in a while. But I had someone tell me that they love my locks and they thought they were beautiful. And I almost said, really? I need to retwist my hair so badly. And the way she was looking at me, she was so sincere, she was so cute. Cause she was a younger girl and she was so cute and I was like thank you <laughs> and I know she was like why did she say it like that this weird lady but it was because I had to bite my tongue so I would not kill the compliment we kill the compliment somebody compliment our dress girl I'll get this thing on because I didn't have nothing to wear and this didn't need to be ironed or, ooh, I'm only wearing um, this color polish because, I don't know, I had messed up my uh, manicure when the woman did it, so I had to paint it over or, you know, something. We always discredit it. Take the compliment. We have to learn how to release that of, what, of our self-worth because we don't feel that we're worthy. We don't feel that we deserve to be complimented 
to be appreciated, although we want appreciation. We won't accept that we, <sighs> that is so funny. I just thinking about that. I, I got to sit in that for a minute. We want to be appreciated as women, but when somebody shows us gratitude, appreciation, and compliments, we shoot it down. Come on now, don't leave me by myself. I know you know what I'm talking about. Raise your hand if you've done that, where somebody has given you a compliment or anything like that, and we immediately shoot it down. I got another one. How many times has someone offered to treat you to something like buy your coffee, um, buy your lunch that day, um, I don't know, throw you some gas money or something, and you be like, no, that's okay, you don't have to do that. <sighs> really, y'all? Really? Receiving. We have a huge problem with receiving. We even do it to God. It's like, please, God, send me, you know, a man, you know, send me you know, this, that, and the third. I want an abundant life. I want this. I want that. But then when the gateway is open for you to go and get your abundant life, you're like, I don't know if I really deserve that. Just do I need... Girl, receive. Learn how to receive, please. Please. So, yes, learn how to receive compliments. Learn how to receive you know, someone giving to you because we give so much that it's, it shouldn't be a problem for you to receive. We Giving and receiving is a cycle of life. It's a natural, spiritual cycle of life. It's just like sowing and reaping. You give seeds to the earth. You water the seeds, you till the land, you're giving all this love and everything else. And then what does the land do? It gives you an apple tree, gives you a lemon tree, gives you, you know, hell, a stalk of corn or something like that. It's a cycle of life. It's all energy. It's all giving. It's all receiving. And I hope this makes sense to somebody. Because we've got to understand this. If we're going to be start, if we're starting over, not going to be, we are. If we're in this, in this point of starting over, if we're saying at this point right now, I'm tired of being on the hamster wheel of life. I'm tired of living my life the way other people feel I need to leave it, live it. I'm tired of not living my life on my own terms. I'm tired of living my life on repeat where I'm doing the same thing over and over again and I'm getting nothing from it. I'm tired of having um, living paycheck to paycheck. I'm tired of not traveling the way I want to travel and not having the life that I've always dreamed of having. All these things. The first part of that. You need to learn how to receive. Receive the fact that you are worthy and deserving of it. That's the first part of that. Yeah, you need to release some stuff. There's going to be some things you're going to have to shed and release in this rebirthing process. But while we are here in this beautiful new moon in Scorpio, take the beautiful water Become one with spirit. You are divinely connected to the source of all that is. Take the beautiful cleansing water and rinse. So that is your assignment. I want you to go. And I want you to go either when you take a shower or when you, you know, are washing your face. I want you to go and I want you to symbolically take and just wash, Push, put the water on your face, water on your body, and just what are you washing off? What are you releasing? What are you letting go? What is the lingering stuff that is like, okay, you know what? This can't linger no more. I can't hold this no more. It's getting on my nerves. I'm not comfortable in this comfort zone. I'm getting pissed off because my life, I feel stuck. And I don't wanna feel stuck no more. I'm ready to walk through that door to my brand new life. That is what you're supposed to do. That is your homework tonight. I want you to symbolically, physically, 
clean. When you go and you take your shower, you go and you wash your face, something. Get in water and I want you to release. I want you to rinse. I want you to wash all of that up. And when you do, look at yourself and see the new coming over your face and say, yes, I receive the new. I receive all things new. I receive the blessings that are coming to me because I've now released the things that no longer serve me. So now I am open, ready, and clear to receive any and all blessings that are coming to me. It is so. Amen and Ashe. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hit the share button with hit the share button so you can share this on your timeline because somebody needs to know that it's time for them to revisit, it's time for them to release, and they need to receive. So you can share this and don't forget, I am also putting this on my SoundCloud because we are pre-launching the Starting Over podcast. That is a coming. I'm not feeling this sick anymore. So that bad boy is a coming. <laughs> Matter of fact, when I get off here, I'm already working on it. So it's coming. But yes, so we're about to have our starting, starting Over podcast. I've got some amazing women that are going to be coming on the podcast. So it's not just going to be me talking. It's going to be some other women who have their own starting over stories and they're going to be talking about different things. And it's, it's all for you, boo. All of us that are over 40, we're going to talk about our, our money. We're going to talk about sex life. We're going to be talking about getting our sexy back. We're going to be talking about all that good stuff, our health, spirituality, everything, because this is our time. And I, I have a personal mission as Coach Roz. I want to see you shine, and I want it to be from the inside out. Mind, body, and spirit, the trinity of your temple, I want it to come through just for you, because it's time. It's your time. And that's why I'm here to do this. It's my time and it's your time and we're going to have time together. <laughs> so that's all I got. Thank you so much for joining me. I know this went a little longer than our norm, but you know what? We got time. It's our time, right? Right. But that's all I got. I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time during our 40 days of sacred clearing for women over 40. Have a good evening. Happy new moon.